it catches fire if it's exposed to a flame. Fox's Heidi Hema has the story. I mean, it was just the perfect place. It's a quiet country home outside, but what's bubbling up inside is downright dangerous. Flammable water fueled by natural gas. Shock is one word for it. Terror is probably more effective. Amy Ellsworth has good reason to be scared because all of that natural gas in her house could cause an explosion. I'm terrified. There, there are no other words for it. I am absolutely terrified. It's clearly a safety issue if you've got a flammable gas building up in your house. Dave Neslin with the Oil and Gas Conservation Commission has determined the contamination must be coming from a leaking well. Investigators have identified eight gas wells within a half mile radius of Amy's home that could be causing the leak. The wells are owned by two different companies, Noble Energy and Anadarko. We take it very seriously. Neslin says the two gas companies are taking it seriously too. They are offering to build a water treatment system for the Ellsworths to filter the gas out. And that's a good step in the right direction. But Amy says it's not a solution because the natural gas will still be in the ground. If I was to go pull a strawberry up out of my ground that I freshly grew and handed it to you, would you eat it? You were afraid to wash your hands. Perhaps her biggest fear, though, is that her neighbors, who are tapping into the same water supply, could be at risk and not even know it. I don't want to watch the news tonight and find out that someone's house blew up and somebody's children died and I didn't do anything. For now, Amy is stuck in a house that could blow at any minute. Watching her home value go down the drain along with the fiery water. How scary. This is a disturbing report out of Dallas. A high school principal and other staff are accused of letting a fight club happen on school grounds, just like the movie. The 2008 report claims that employees at South Oak Click High School made students settle their differences by fighting bare-knuckled in a steel utility cage. The report claims the principal knew about the fight and never reported it. Former principal Donald Moten resigned last year. He's denying the accusations. No criminal charges have been filed in the case. Nine firefighters are injured when their trucks collide while responding to a call. It happened this morning in Philadelphia. The two vehicles speeding along different streets. When they crashed, nearly forcing one into a nearby building, one of the firefighters was seriously injured. Four of them had to be treated at a hospital released, and the others were not seriously hurt. The crash is under investigation. Other firefighters extinguished the blaze. Both vehicles were heading to Many people are struggling to find work right now, but there's one industry with hundreds of thousands of openings all across the country. Fox's Julie Banderas explains why they're having trouble filling those jobs. Hospitals across the country are feeling the pain of a nursing shortage. At New York City's Village Care Nursing Home, there aren't enough nurses to go around. We have a very rapid turnover with very sick patients. And so what we do see is that without having an adequate number of professional nurses who are assessing, preventing rehospitalizations, making sure mistakes are not happening, that we absolutely see that there's issues in quality with the potential for patients to die. The shortage is expected to worsen in coming years as the 78